Hello everyone, thanks so much for joining me here as we talk comic books. My name is Jose. I love comic books. I love talking about them. I love sharing them with you. We're going to be looking at a couple issues here for, of Iron Man. Um, so these issues in particular here, I, I wanted to show you where Jim Rhodes becomes Iron Man during the 80s for a while before Tony eventually does come back and gets the new armor. But I want to give you a little backstory here. So what's going on is uh, Obadiah Stain has been just mercilessly trying to take over Stark. Uh, Demon in the Bottle has already happened, so we've already established that he has an alcohol problem. And it's just been things going one after the other. Um, the writer of this series is Danny O'Neill, who does a great job. However, the artist, um, you know, it, it's all right, but I mean, it doesn't attract you. So it's, it's very difficult because although the artist is, um, uh, I think it's Luke McDonald. I uh, will see here in the inside. Um, He's okay, but he's he's Luke McDonald. He he never, you know, it just it's kind of hard because the 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 art isn't very pretty, but it's serviceable, and that's the thing. So really, what I'm trying to do here is just kind of get us toward the end of this, where he quits being Iron Man, and basically, um, Jim Rhodes takes over for um, for Stark. So as I said. He's been going through so many things, just one thing after the other. And, of course, you, you can see him here. He's been beaten, and he's just tired, and he's losing everything. And, of course, to the bottle he goes. Um, Denny O'Neill continued that trend from Demon in a Bottle that, um, uh, you know, had done that. He thought it was a good... Uh, uh, um, a good and I, and I think it is it's just you know this is his suit of armor that he was wearing that you know he almost died and um Jim Rhodes has has um you know he's sort of um missing and just everything nothing's going his way so he's going into into the bottle and um Eventually, though, he will give in. So it's just right now he's just going to go go to sleep. But, you know, there are forces that are um, conspiring against him. So the next morning, he just shows up to work like this. And he he kind of bites her for, you know, questioning him. I mean, he's obviously not doing very well here. So just walks in and uh uh so so basically this dude here is uh Martinelli he's a business partner and he's basically saying that Obadiah Stain is um hosting some European business men in um Europe and basically he really should head out there and uh go as well but you know, you you see him here, and, and he's just reaching into um, despair. He's not taking help. So it's a very human approach. I, the, the writing itself is very good. It's just the art, although serviceable, it's, uh, you know, if, if you follow, you know, this channel, you know, I covered Jim Lee, Todd McFarlane, and, and, and all the host of other artist uh ed mcginnis and walt simonson it's just although it's serviceable you know the art is nothing to help or uh, to kind of run home about so i'm gonna kind of because you know there's a lot happening here there's a couple issues i want to go through so i don't want to take too long so we'll be kind of move along the story so he does end up going to switzerland and gets in his room and puts the armor for no other reason than it makes him feel better and um, sees a picture of um, his ex-girlfriend. So he is going to attempt to call her and, you know, basically tell her how much he loves her and misses her. And 
he sent her some flowers here, and he just basically called. He says she, he loves her and he'll phone her tonight. And then he leaves here, but he was being watched. Um, and they know that Iron Man has left. So this here is Obadiah Stane. So this is kind of like the version of him um, uh, during this time here. So he has... So again, we're picking up sort of in, in the middle of a story because... Uh, I, I just wasn't going to cover all these things. I'm just trying to get to the issues. Um, like I said, how how he crumbles and ends up giving up being Iron Man. So, uh, Obadiah Stane, um, and and you can look this up in the in the um, in the Marvel Wiki. But Obadiah Stane basically um, has these um, organization called the Chessmen who work for him. Um, there's some of his agents and they've kind of been um, in the uh, making things really impossible for um, Iron Man here. So um, he's defeated, you know, the the all the people that he's thrown in his way. But he's, you know, but still has more. And here you can see he's um, not flying right. Things. um Things aren't going as good. So this is one of the chessmen. This is sort of what they um, what they uh, look like. And it comes from behind and hits them. And that one there was the bishop. So, you know, they begin to fight. You know, it's a silly... It, it, it was... You know, it's hard to take characters like this seriously, but... Like I said, the story is decent, so, um, and I just think that it's um, good to see how Rhodey ended up becoming um, Iron Man. So um, these tourists here are in danger, and um, they're gonna, the cable's gonna snap, and uh, Iron Man's gonna need to save them because, you know, he's a hero. And uh, saves them, but, you know, they continue to attack. So you can see that, uh, you know, his life's just not going very well. So these are the businessmen that Stain was meeting with, and they're all being hypnotized with these headsets that they're wearing. Um, so they basically are going to do whatever Stain tells them to. So he's wearing for Tony Stark because he does not know that Stark is Iron Man. So um, Iron Man, of course, is uh, they are waiting for him, thinking maybe perhaps he died. But, of course, he does not. And uh, he disposes of them. And eventually Tony does show up. But if you can see how raggedy he looks here. Now this part here is sort of the the cheesiness that sometimes he he's talking to them about you know how evil Stain is and he the he, they shouldn't join him and all that but they're all wearing headsets I mean goodness gracious he should know better but anyway he realizes that they're hypnotized when Stain tells him um, so so. Tony's pretty much has had it. He's like, why don't you kill me? And Stain is like, ah, not yet. It's no elegance. There's still work to be done. But as you can see, Tony is just reaching a breaking point. He doesn't want to drink, but, you know, he's fighting those demons. And so now we're in Scotland where Jim Rhodes is at. So he's basically been on the run from uh, Stain's men. So Jim Rhodes is, this is one of the people that um, is after them. He's trying to uh, say, you know, Tony will pay you. At this time, it's $1,000. It's, um, uh, the guy doesn't take it, but he, um, these two were uh, shooting at him and he's able to get away in the car. Um, this guy's like, can't believe you shot me, essentially. 
Um, Tony finally arrives. Again, look at him. Uh, he's all distraught. His girlfriend's in there and uh, says, you know, um, I can't be with you. You're a shell of yourself. It's just not working out, basically. You know, all all these things with um, how he's being and... Uh, she's he he walks away and she picks up the phone she was also hypnotized so um it's part of that plan so he gets there it's an empty shell takes the bottle and he drinks so uh pretty powerful story um Denny O'Neill um who did uh the 70s Batman um, and uh, Green Arrow with uh, Green Lantern. So he knows how to write uh, very human stories. So I'm going to go to the next issue. So we're going to see Machine Man here um, in this issue. And uh, Machine Man's going to uh, Stark International. <laughs> he took a cab there. Um, you know, bit of silly, silly adventures. Um, but you know, Machine Man is basically gonna visit. Um, he wants to speak with Iron Man because he thinks Iron Man is a robot like him. Um, of course, Tony. Tony's drunk, so um, <laughs> um, so he he says he's gonna get sober. He just goes into into to sober up a little bit, but um, he's like, ah, I'm still drunk, but he's gonna put on his armor, and uh, you know. So he's going to show in there. Like I said, he thinks he's a robot and they're going to end up fighting because, again, he's he's drunk inside. So this issue should move a little faster because it's essentially um, a fight between Iron Man and Machine Man. I think this was put in there just to show how Tony fell here. So, so the the henchmen are waiting for Jim Rhodes. This is uh, Stark's jet here. They're thinking Jim's gonna go there, but he's like, "Oh no, he won't." And um, he goes in here and dressed as a janitor, takes care of them, and rush rushes in. And takes off. It was him in, in disguise. So he's removing. And he's kind of go return to the U.S. And then we go back to the fight. And because Tony's drunk. Eventually uh, Machine Man's basically going to defeat him. I mean. It is an Iron Man book. But that doesn't mean he's going to win. I do like some certain things. Like the breaking out of the panel. I do like I do like that. Um and so so these are the guys that were working kinda like on an experiment that uh with Iron Man, but I mean look at Iron Man just plowing through so um and basically it's destroying their own research. Um And uh, uh, he probably is causing something that's going to probably come back to bite him. So, like I said, the story is decent. Um, uh, Denny O'Neill is is a good writer. He he's he's written a lot of works, um, done a lot a lot of stuff. Rest in peace, Denny O'Neill. Um, but the art just doesn't sing quite well. Um, he's like I said, uh, the artist is serviceable, but um, it's 
not the same as I love the Cardinal here. And so, um, they're all like, can't believe, you know, they're all yelling at him. He just wants to be alone and he's just, it's just not going very well. So we're going to go down, uh, he's going to go down even a further, um, despair. She's, uh, Mrs. A calls him, says, oh, so we're, we're in trouble. This is, this is all happening. He's like, I can't be bothered. Uh, please send one of the expensive cars. And, uh, he's going to shave so that he can look a little decent. He can't go out front cause he'll be visible. Um, so, and, and you know, here he's like a $200 custom tailored suit. Again, you got to remember the time frame of this. So $200 in 1982, a hundred dollars silk tie. Um, so, uh, maybe not quite double, but. And so he gets on the car. This guy wants to talk to him. He's like, talk to my secretary. And off he goes. Uh, the company, he, uh, uh, Martelli, I think, says, you know, this company is falling apart because essentially it's a one-man operation, even though it's a huge corporation. Um, asks if he's going to use the penthouse. He says, I will. He gives him a $500 bill. He says, I'll give you another one if um, I'm not bothered. He's out of he, he's out, um, he needs, uh, alcohol, and wonders if he can get him some gin, he tells him, I'd love to, but, um, I can't, uh, leave, um, so he says, ah, don't worry about it, and basically he's gonna go do it himself, so, um, so this is, um, now number 169, and you can see from the cover that he is uh, not doing very well. So Iron Man's not doing very well. He's uh, drunk. And if you can see, he's just crashing through things. And uh, oh, and just keeps going through billboards. And um, they, ca they catch him in the news. And uh, here's Daredevil saying, you know... I, I, must be a reason for it. Um, doesn't even know where he's at um, or which one is his. He eventually gets to it and starts drinking. So um, this is uh, one of the villains called Magma. They'll give a little... He's a, a lesser villain here. Kind of... Um, had fought Iron Man in a Marvel team up one one zero here, as it says, and he is uh, ready for a rematch. Tony's kind of waking up from Channel Three. The mayor says, "You know, we we need restitution." Starts like you're not getting anything, and he's going to uh, get his lawyers on this, and yada yada yada. Um, the doorman asks if he should get him a cab he doesn't look well he says no I'm fine and he thinks who does he think he is telling me how to look so um Jim Rhodes lands at Stark International and uh uh I forgot his name Milo was it Milo ah anyway Vinny he says here um he says uh Tony's drinking again and uh, Rhodey's like, oh, yeah, you know, and he's thinking it that he's been heading this way for a long time. So he's at the law offices. He wants to bring a libel against the station, but they tell him um, he is uh, losing his company because he's neglected it. And um, he, they owe money because... Um, they had to default on a on a contract with that reactor that he ended up destroying. Creditors are getting jumpy. Someone's buying their his debt, and that means that uh, he knows it is Sobadiah. He says that um, if he owns the debts, he can sink him. And of course, Obadiah is like um, ready for the end game. And then Magma is coming to attack. He's heading towards Stark International. 
and he's here he's like find a lot that'll stop stain and he's like there is none have somebody make one um iron man's happy roadie's return he wants to celebrate by having a drink he says he'll pass and that um he should pass too and he's you know not doing well and um Vinny here tells him that uh, they have an Iron Man type trouble. Now, at this time, Jim Rhodes does not know that Iron Man is Tony Stark. Vinny here does. So, um, Tony leaves, or he goes, I'll go find him. And uh, he goes and puts on the armor. And uh, he goes to fight magma but Iron Man is too drunk is no match and it's going to get squished here uh, he's blaming the armor because he can't uses the repulsor race to kind of nudge himself free and uh, you know it's not doing well so he runs away and uh, he thinks that if he repowers his his armor, um, he'll be able to. So he has a plan. He needs help with Rhodey to take him to that fusion. This guy needs to... Um, same guy again. Um, Tony kind of pushes him aside. Asks uh, Rhodey for help. He's going to, like I said, he's going to power up the armor give it a jolt but he causes a blackout because he's wearing an old armor and the circus can't handle such a and he says you know come with me and uh, they're gonna go somewhere in private and he's gonna reveal that Tony is Iron Man so it's a big moment I and um you know, these issues don't get the love, mostly because, you know, uh, Mar I don't know, but they're really good. Um, art aside, um, and once you get past it and actually read it, um, you'll see here that uh, um, it, it's, it's, like I said, the art is serviceable, and these are really good stories. So, he starts to drink, and... Uh, Magma still attacking Stark International, and uh, everybody's doing the best they can, and uh, Tony's passed out, and uh, Rhodey's going to put on the armor and uh, become Iron Man. So we are going to look at one more issue then, um, number 170, with a really cool cover so um as roadie becomes the new iron man so roadie's gonna put on the helmet here and basically take over as iron man only he has no idea how to do it uh, he's like, well, how hard can it be? And then he <laughs> makes this big hole. So, um, he goes out and, uh, this, uh, Morley here is going to sort of help him out. He asks for help. So, uh, I love Stain still playing with the chess pieces. So, um, they said if he heard anything, she's asking if she heard anything from the plan. He says, yeah, this magma is uh, causing uh, trouble over there. And summon the night the, to go out there. So, uh, Morley here helps Rhodey kind of how to do it. Just to let people know where, what kind of how long this story is. Um, this is issue 170, and this goes all the way to 200. Obviously, we're not going to cover all of it because, um, really, it, it's, um, it's really long. That's, it's, uh, but we are going to cover a couple issues 
that I think are um, very good. So we will cover some, but we're not going to cover this the, that whole that whole run here. I do have the entire run. Um, I got them when I was in elementary school. Um, my grandfather used to buy them for me, so um, and I, ha I have most of them, and then I completed the the collection at another time. And you can f probably find these issues cheap. So, Rody has been, you know, is fighting this guy and uh, um, kind of holding his own. Even though he doesn't know what he's doing. So. So yeah. If you ever want to find something that's cheap. And good to read. You can probably find these. Um, like I said. For not very much. So Tony's waking up. Find out he's. Uh, he's practically naked here. And he's trying to put in. One of the other armors. But he can't. Um, open it. And. Um. He just can't get the combination to work. So, and he needs to clear his head. So he's of course going to have some more whiskey. Meanwhile, Iron Man uh, continues to fight, and uh, he keeps getting help, and goes back. And then this is Magma here. I know it's a little hard to tell, but this is the Magma guy. Tony's just watching on that monitor drinking and sees that he's coming in there and he's just um, can't defend himself without the armor but Rhodey is doing the best that he can and here comes the knight he's actually going to help and uh, disables that machine she asks how come you um, you helped him, and, he, and she goes, I wasn't helping him. I, I'm trying to save the property because I'm, he's going to take over. He's going to be the new owner of Stark um, within a few months and doesn't want that destroyed. So, um, Magma does get out and sees uh, Tony... Pushes him aside. He's going to destroy all the Iron Man armors. But here comes Rhodey. And the guy shoots his little lava things. Um, Tony tells him to use the repulsors. And he's like, oh yeah. And he does. And it works. And then Magma is going to blast him. But he runs out of... Um, feel so Iron Man tosses him aside and uh, he takes this little machine of his to go get destroyed and uh, um, you know he's happy that he sort of learned how to do it and uh, you know this guy's just pretty cool that he Got to work with Iron Man. He's going to check on Tony. And he's... Um, you know, getting ready. And... Uh, he wants Rhodey to remain as Iron Man. And... Uh, he's got a date. And... They're going to go have cocktails. Rhodey's like, man, you shouldn't be doing that anymore. Um what you're doing to yourself and basically tells him to be quiet and uh, Jim is really mad throws the helmet and uh, calls the Avengers and essentially quits because you know what's he gonna do so he quits the Avengers so we're gonna go ahead and quit this video at this time like and subscribe thanks uh for listening and i hope you enjoyed it because it is a good story so um hope you uh give these issues you know check them out and see the bigger story bye